Me and Nick. Ben, say you always get all the answers. I'm kind of a big deal. Well, let me hear the music, Colin. Take it away. It's time for the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Let's mix it up with a breakdown of some local, regional, and national sports with Spencer Dupuy, Nick Verzellini, and Colin McLaughlin. Good afternoon and welcome in to this Tuesday, August 15th edition of the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Brought to you in part by the Brown Funeral Home and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons. A family-owned full-service funeral home that has probably served our area since 1880. Spencer Pointing for Zellini, Colin McLaughlin, happy to have you with us. Dylan Bishop will join us later in the show, I believe. But now, uh, we're, instead of 12-15, we'll just do it right now. We're joined by our first guest Connor Chancy, Musselman baseball player, as he is committed to play at the next level at Shenandoah University right down the road. How you doing, Connor? Good. How are you guys? We're doing well. Uh, what's this summer kind of been like for you as you uh, commit to uh, Shenandoah? Was there any other colleges you were in the mix for? Uh, yeah, for sure. There's definitely a bunch of other colleges in the mix. I mean, a lot of traveling, um, great exposure from the team I played for, Stanger United. Uh, I mean, my team was a very successful team. Uh, I did have a couple other colleges reaching out, though. Uh, Hood College was one, Pitt Greensburg. Those were a couple other colleges in the mix there, but Shenandoah just felt right overall for me. Are you going to uh, mainly pitch at Shenandoah, do you think? Uh, yes, sir. I'll be a PO there. Uh, I guess just what stood out about Shenandoah? I mean, it's close enough to home that I can – you know, come back every once in a while and visit my parents and my family, but it's also not too, too close for me. I mean, they have a great academic program for me. Uh, I want to major in political science with a minor in pre-law and then potentially go to law school once I graduate. And then as well as that, they have a great baseball team, big, great baseball program, uh, very successful and great coaching staff as well. And, you know, when you talk about what you did this summer, you sent me your stats over about 30 innings. You just allowed three earned ones. Uh, earned runs, 28 strikeouts to nine walks. You had a .724 ERA. Uh, we always kind of talk about this, the challenges of jumping from the high school season straight to summer ball, and uh, you performed pretty well this summer after what was a, a great season for your team at, at Musselman. Yes, sir, yeah. It was a, I mean, it was a little challenging for a jump but straight into summer ball from that, but, I mean, staying – ready and uh, being able to compete at the next level is a great opportunity facing some very talented teams and this summer is very fun. You mentioned uh, Shandoah not being too far away. Are you familiar with any of the guys currently on the team there? I'm um, actually not. I know a couple kids that are committing there, but I don't know them that well. But no, I don't know them very well. So right now, the off season. what are you, I guess, uh, trying to focus on to prepare yourself for your final high school season? I mean, just getting stronger, learning more about the game, but mainly getting stronger and just being able to move quicker on the mound. I think that's my, my biggest problem is velocity, so I think getting stronger and moving faster will increase my velocity and make me have a better senior season. And obviously, you were kind of down below a lot of guys when it comes to pitching with, you know, the seniors like Stevens and Hartman and, and Bohr. Uh, but obviously, next year, you're going to expect to take a big leap with uh, Jason Myers. You know, it's you, basically you and Jason Myers. Yes, sir. Uh, what is kind of this summer going into high school senior year like? Hey, I'm going to be the number one or number two guy along with Jason Myers, uh, knowing that you'll get, you know, upwards of 30, 40 innings next next year. Oh, yeah, it's great knowing that I'll be a big leader and uh, have a big role in the team this year. Um, I kind of had to pre prepare myself for that this summer, having throwing more innings and getting my arm used to that. So I think being able to do that this summer will really help me translate that into the spring season, being a big leader and helping my team win. Last two years have been pretty successful seasons for Musselman. Um, still trying to get over the hump and get to that next step. You guys return a decent amount from last year's team, but also lose a lot as well. So uh, as you head into this off season and, and getting ready for next year, uh, what are you looking for from this year's team coming up to get over the hump and, and get into the state tournament? I definitely think our younger guys are going to have to step up and help out the team as much as they can after losing five great seniors. Um, but, yeah, like I said, if the younger guys step up and I step up, Jason steps up, I think we'll have a great team. This question more just about yourself. Uh, what gave you your love for baseball? I mean, ever since I was like four or five years old, I've played t-ball, played it all through Little League, Summit Point League, all that stuff. So, 
I mean, I've just been playing since I was little, and I just have a love for it. I'm not sure why. It's just fun. It's just fun. And uh, kind of, you know, going through some Shenandoah stuff, they're kind of like a D3 powerhouse for baseball, and they're right down the road for you. How kind of cool is that going to be for you to essentially play at home but, you know, be a little bit away from your family, but they're going to be able to come and watch every home game? Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's one of the big reasons I chose Shenandoah is, I mean, they have a great program. I mean, they're ever since 2007, they're the winningest Division three program in the country, and it's just 30 minutes from my house, so that's great for me and my family. How has, uh, I guess, what, what are you looking to do, I guess, to get ready for college, and what are some things that you want to – uh, work on this season? I mean, I need to add a pitch or two to my uh, arsenal as well as just getting stronger so I can be able to compete at the Division three level, especially their level. And just, I mean, just strengthening my arm, strength and, strength and speed is the biggest thing I can work on to get love or ready for the next level. Who are some guys that you've looked up to, whether it be former teammates or maybe at the professional level? I mean, any pitcher. I live, uh, I'm a big Braves guy, so I love Greg Maddox. Um, type of, my pitching t- style is definitely his type of pitching style. And then, like, high school, just looking up to the seniors last year, just seeing what I can do to be like them or be better than them is what really pushes me. And kind of, you know, I kind of talked about this a little bit when asking that question, but we talked to a lot of football players, a lot of basketball players, where they can go kind of from sport to sport to sport. But for baseball, obviously, with being a pitcher, how does kind of that affect how much you can pitch? Because obviously you kind of were in a situation where this could be your big summer for pitching because of the arms that Musselman had, and we kind of talked about in the last question that I asked you. Uh, But, you know, how is that like knowing that, you know, you can only pitch so many pitches every day and, and just the arm? Like how does that, like from somebody that hasn't played baseball in 15 years like I haven't played baseball since then how does that kind of affect like the day-to-day of oh I'm going to go out and if I throw 100 pitches today I can't you know do much tomorrow yeah it definitely does affect me I mean having to throw a limited number of pound of pitches each each day or being able to like pitch one day and then have a lift and then just like playing catch the next day and then throwing a bullpen and then throwing in the game it definitely is it's it has it ups it's ups and downs and pros and cons but overall I like the the whole aspect of pitching where you can't throw like more than one day at a time multiple pitches because it, it just helps strengthen your arm if you don't do that. So, I mean, it definitely does affect it, though. What are some things that you uh, learned about your self, self this summer, and how does it feel also to be committed at this point and not have to head into high school and, and next summer being uncommitted and not really knowing what your future is going to be? Uh, yeah, it's definitely, like, What I've learned mainly this summer is that velo isn't everything. I mean, as long as you can hit a spot and you have a good defense behind you, you can just give up weak contact. That's what it means the world is. Like, velo doesn't matter if you can't throw strikes. So that's what I've learned a lot about myself. And then being committed this early on is definitely great for me because I won't have the pressure of, oh, where are you going next year? Where are you going? And, I mean, it's just great knowing this early on that I'm already committed and I know where I'm going. Let's just go through, I guess, uh, your routine before a game. What do you like doing? What is something that maybe any of your superstitions or whatever you like that you want to share? I mean, recently I've been stretching a lot more before games. Beforehand, I used to not stretch as well as I should be or should be doing, and that caused a little bit of arm problems for me. But recently I've learned I've learned that stretching definitely helps arm pain not happen. So. I've mainly worked on stretching my hips out before games and then doing uh, Jaeger bands, all that stuff, and then just not, I don't want to long toss too far before game because I definitely will, you want to be fresh when you go on the mound, so I throw like 90 feet max when I'm warming up with my throwing partner catcher, so that definitely helps me and keeps me uh, fresh for the game. Anything else, Nick? I think we're good. All right. right. Anything else? Thanks for coming on, Connor, and uh, we'll see you next baseball season at Musselman. Yes, sir. Thank you.